Charge with light mods are going to make your Guardian much more powerful in Destiny 2, allowing you to inflict more damage, empower your teammates and even heal yourself faster. Today I'm going to look into how Charge with light mods work, plus some of the best mods you can use to empower your Guardian so you can cause as much damage as possible in Destiny 2. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Well, Charge with Light mods were introduced in Season 9 of Destiny 2. However, there's not really any tutorials in-game on how to use them. The Charge with Light mods work by gaining Charge with Light stacks, which you can see in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. And once you've gained Charge with Light, then you can consume Charge with Light stacks to give you a bunch of benefits including more damage to certain weapons, you can get an overshield, heal faster and more. Charge with light mods can be found in the director under the combat mod section and here you can see all the ones available to you. To get these mods you do have to keep an eye on Banshee44 in the tower and he sells mods every day. He doesn't always sell Charge with Light mods, as he only sells two per day, but if you haven't got any of these mods, then check in daily and start building out your collection. Charge with Light builds are good for all kinds of PvE content, like Strikes, Nightfalls, Battlegrounds, Legend and Master Lost Sectors, Grandmaster Nightfalls, and also Raids too. Well, let's check out how Charge with Light mods work. So once you have Charge with Light mods, you want to add them to your armor, and they can be placed on the mod socket to the right on your armor screen when you inspect the individual piece of armor. Each mod costs a certain amount of energy points to slot into your armor, and you're going to need Glimmer and Legendary Shards to add these mods. There's a couple of types of Charge with Light mods, so some are used for gaining Charge with Light stacks. For example, taking charge where you gain stacks of charge with light by picking up orbs of power and also you've got something like empowering finish to allow you to gain charge with light by using your finisher the other type of charge with light mod consumes stacks of charge with light so for example lucent blade gives you more sword damage output while charged with light powerful friends on the other hand allows your fire team to also get charged with light when you do and you get a plus 20 mobility stat boost there's various benefits to Charge with Light mods, it's just a matter of picking and choosing the ones that you want to use. The new Elemental Well mods also allow you to get Charge with Light through something called Elemental Charge. So you gain stacks of Charge with Light when you pick up an Elemental Well. And these are new mods found in Season of the Chosen, and you can check out a guide for those here. So next up, let's have a look at the best Charge with Light mods for a range of activities. So here's some of the best mods that help you gain Charge with Light. So we've got Taking Charge, where you become Charge with Light by picking up Orbs of Power. We've got Empowered Finish, so become Charge with Light by finishing a combatant, consuming one-tenth of your super energy. We've got Sustained Charge, become Charge with Light by rapidly defeating combatants with Auto Rifles, Trace Rifles or Machine Guns. We've got Swift Charge, so become Charge with Light by rapidly defeating combatants with Pulse Rifles, Sidearms or Submachine Guns and defeating combatants with a pulse rifle grants a chance to drop special ammo for your allies. You've also got precision charge, so become charge with light by rapidly defeating combatants with precision kills from bows, hand cannons and scout rifles, although this one has a minus tenth on the strength. And finally we've got charge harvester, so while you're not charged with light, any kill or assist has a small cumulative chance to cause you to become charged with light. Although there is a stat penalty of minus 10 to the stat that governs your class ability recharge rate. So next up, here's some of the best mods for consuming Charge with Light. And first of all, we've got Argent Ordnance. So while Charge with Light, readying or firing a rocket launcher grants it increased damage and reload speed. And damaging a combatant with a rocket consumes one stack of Charge with Light. We've got Lucent Blade, so while Charge with Light, dealing damage with a sword gives you sword bonus damage for 5 seconds, consuming one stack of Charge with Light. We've got Surprise Attack, so while Charge with Light reloading or readying a sidearm, will consume all stacks of Charge with Light and convert them into stacks of a major damage buff, which are depleted as you damage combatants with a sidearm, although here you do have a stat penalty of minus 10 for your intellect. We've got Powerful Friends, so when you become Charge with Light, nearby allies also become Charge with Light if they're not already, and you get a plus 20 for mobility. 
We've got protective light, so while charged with light, you gain significant damage resistance against combatants when your shields are destroyed, and this effect consumes all stacks of charge with light. The more stacks consumed, the longer the damage resistance lasts, but do be aware, this one has a stat penalty of minus 10 for strength. We've got stacks on stacks, so gain an extra stack of charge with light for every stack you gain, and that has a penalty of minus 10 for recovery. We've got high energy fire, so while charge with light, gain bonus to weapon damage, and each defeated enemy consumes one stack of charge with light. And finally, we've got fire power, so while charge with light, regain a portion of your grenade energy when you use a grenade, consuming one stack of charge with light. So these are just some that I've picked out, there are plenty more, you can check them out in the mod section in the director. Well next up, let's have a look at some example builds. So you definitely can mix and match to find the one that fits your playstyle, but for a high damage build, you could use Taking Charge, Argent Ordnance and Stacks on Stacks, and because you're using Argent Ordnance, you want to make sure you're using a rocket launcher. For a good all round build, you've got Taking Charge, Protective Light, High Energy Fire and Supercharged. And then for a support build, you've got Empowered Finish, Powerful Friends, and Kindling the Flame. So the one I'm using a lot at the moment is Argent Ordnance, as rockets are flavor of the month when it comes to the sandbox right now. So this could change in the future as the sandbox does ebb and flow. Swords used to be the thing for damage when Falling Guillotine first came out in Season of Arrivals, and Lucent Blade was absolutely everywhere. But if you're using swords, rockets or sidearms, it's definitely worth checking out the damage boost that you can get from the mods that I've been through today. An Argent Ordnance gives you about a 20% buff to rocket damage, and when that's paired with the recent 30% buff in Season of the Chosen, well that is going to be really, really effective. And Charge with Light mods can also be combined with Warmind Cell mods, for an overall improvement in damage. Charge with light mods on their own aren't going to be the difference maker, but when combined with exotic armor and weapons, they really complement each other and often make builds even better. Well, let me know down in the comments what you think of Charge with Light and also share your favorite Charge with Light builds. Well, that is it for this guide on how to create a Charge with Light build in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description, or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. See you soon.